Hi everyone and welcome to another product review. I'm so sorry that I have not gotten another review up for you all in quite some time or what seems to me like quite some time but October just was not my friend this year. It was such madness. First my daughter got pneumonia and then the hurricane came and then we were without power for a few days and then I had to fly out to Mexico and then I got back, tried to settle back in and then it was Halloween so there's just been a lot going on very very hectic around my house but now I'm finally settled back November should be nice and you know calm so today I am here with the it cosmetics bye bye under eye illumination concealer so this I believe from what I've read is just like their bye bye under eye original formula however this one has the illumination in the formula so it's supposed to brighten as well as you know just give you that inner glow so straight from the website, key benefits are that it is the number one best-selling award-winning formula now with drops of light technology, hence the illumination in the title. It's full coverage, anti-aging, never creases. We'll see about that. <laughs> I'm just always skeptical whenever there's a no crease formula under the eye for me. It's it's never, almost never that way. So we'll see. Um, highly pigmented, covers everything. Has anti-aging peptides, vitamins, antioxidants, hydrolyzed collagen, and hyaluronic acid. And it also is clinically shown to make your skin look younger. So a lot of big claims come with this concealer. It comes in a 0.28 ounce tube and it only comes in four shades, which I was kind of disappointed by. I only had four to choose from, but you know, silver lining was that I didn't, I ordered it online, so I didn't really, you know, have a hard time finding a shade. I grabbed the shade Tan for my skin tone. I felt like the other two just looked a little bit too light, um, and this one may suit my skin tone a little bit more, so we'll see. So this little tube retails for $24 both online and in stores. It can be found at Ulta.com as well as in stores. It can be found at itcosmetics.com of course and at Sephora.com as well as in some stores. So ch definitely check your Sephora's before you head on in there to try to purchase it because I know mine personally, the one in downtown Charleston, does not carry this little guy. That's why I had to order it online. As far as beauty tips or how to best apply this product, straight on the website it says to apply with the Heavenly Luxe Dual Airbrush Concealer Brush, also from their brand, which I don't currently own, so I'm just gonna try to make do with what I have. I'll try to apply it with perhaps a brush, definitely my beauty blender since I, that's how I typically apply my concealers. Um, and then it also states that you should apply it to the under eye area in the shape of a triangle with a base along your eye and and the point towards your cheek. And then it also says that you should gently dust bye bye pores pressed over the top to set it. So it states that you should set it. Okay, so that is pretty much all the information directly on the website. Just like in all of my other concealer videos, I am going to be color correcting the right under eye area, but I'm not going to be color correcting the left under eye area just to see how it wears with and without. And I am going to be setting with some RCMA loose powder on top since it does state that you should set it. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Let me go ahead and color correct the right under eye area and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with this side color corrected. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation onto my entire face, skipping the under eye area, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I am back with foundation. I just got a glimpse of myself on the viewfinder and I look so crazy right now. I'm wearing the Urban Decay All Nighter Full Coverage Foundation and so I just it just looks crazy right now. So let's go ahead and get started in applying some of this concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna just place a tiny bit onto the back of my hand and just see how, like the consistency of it, what that is. It's really, it's pretty thick from what I can feel so far. So I'm gonna go light with it um, because it is pretty thick and I'm just going to put it with my finger. I, is that weird? It feels like, I think, I don't know, it might, it might apply pretty well with my finger. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is really light for tan. 
I was expecting I was expecting for it to be a little bit darker, but it's really light for it being tan. Um, I'm going to start off with this side and just apply it with my ring finger, actually. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of tacky. It honestly feels like a little bit like my under eye corrector here. Like it's really tacky. It's really thick. Applied pretty evenly with just my finger. I'm tempted to do this, but I don't know. Or maybe even with a brush. And this is just a round precision brush from Sigma. It's like the same one that I used to apply my under eye corrector with. I'm just gonna apply it that way. So at first I did it with my finger and then I'm just trying to blend it out evenly um, with my brush. I tried my best to get it into a triangle shape here. Okay, so that's how that one applied. Not too bad. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same small amount to the right under eye area. So a little definitely goes a long way with this product. I'm just now trying to blend it out using this same brush. Okay, so now that I've got concealer on both sides, I'm going to set the under eye area using my trusty RCMA, but I'm only using a tiny, tiny amount. So like tiny amount, it's a really, really light layer. And I'm gonna be really light and dabbing the under eye area in order to set. Let me show you all a close up of what it looks like right now after having set it and after initial applications. Um, right now, I mean, it is full coverage, so the consistency of it does feel a little bit heavy under my eye, but nothing too, too intense. It's not creasing as of right now, so hopefully it stays that way for the duration of the day. Um, I do feel like I get more brightening and more coverage out of this right eye than I do out of this left one, but I'm not really sure if I like that being so, so bright and um, just the way that it looks. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this right now. So um, yeah, that's what it looks like uh, right now after initial application. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and be right back. Okay, so now I am back with a full face of makeup and I'm kind of warming up to it. So we'll see what it looks like in a few hours. It is currently 11.30 a.m. So I will see you all here in maybe four or five hours. Okay, so now I am back. It is currently 4.15. So I've had this on for roughly five hours and I'm not loving it. Um, honestly, I'm just not loving it. Um, it's not the worst concealer in the world that I've ever tried, but I'm just not really, I'm not, I'm not impressed with it. Um, this side is a lot brighter. I'm assuming it has something to do with the color corrector that I use because it does have that brightening effect as well as the concealer having the brightening effect. So it looks a lot brighter than this side. Um, so that alone I think is what's keeping my dark circles kind of at bay on this side. But it is creasing on both sides. This side, the one that doesn't have the color corrector, you can definitely see my dark circles um, on peeking through. And the like, I have lines underneath my eyes that is no, like there's no hiding them. I just have natural lines underneath my eyes. And this side, with the concealer, it makes them look really pronounced and really kind of makes them go for a lot longer than what they really are. <laughs> so my lines kind of just end right here, but this side makes my lines look almost like wrinkles. That's just kind of what's going on with it. This side still looks pretty bright, still concealing, I believe. This side not really concealing as much at this point. Okay, so I'll show you a close up now so that you can see exactly what they look like after roughly five hours of wear. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's creased a little bit on this side, but nothing too extreme. I've had concealers that have creased a lot worse on me, not this one. Um, and, you know, it just looks a little bit separated here. You can definitely see some of my um, dark circles peeking through here, but nothing 
nothing outrageous. The side that I didn't color correct though, that one definitely a no-go for me. Um, the concealer definitely itself looks very, very separated. And like I said, like I mentioned, my lines just, like if you can see here, I definitely have lines underneath. That's where the concealer is, is creasing at the moment. But this side makes my lines that I normally just have here underneath the eye, directly underneath the eye, makes them look like they're just going on for miles and miles and I'm not a big fan of that. And it's also creased a little bit on this side as well. All right, so I'm gonna give this maybe another three, three and a half hours. I plan on ending my day around 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I will see you all in a few more hours. Okay, so now I am back for my final check-in. It is currently 7.02, so a little bit under the eight hour mark. And overall, I must say I'm not incredibly impressed with the concealer. Let me show you exactly what it looks like up close after almost eight hours of wear. Okay, so as you can see at this point, there's definitely creasing. The lines are just very pronounced, especially on this side. My dark circles are definitely visible, and uh, I mean, I can definitely see a little bit of my dark circles here, but here not so much, so that was nice, but it's a little bit too bright for my liking, and yeah. So in conclusion, would I repurchase this product? And I'm sure you've guessed it. The answer is no. I will pass on this product in the future. Um, I just didn't like the way that it wore on me personally. I have a lot of lines going on underneath the eyes and it just made them very, very pronounced. It did crease on me throughout the day. Um, it also looks a bit separated by this point. And the side that I did not color correct, it just, you know, my dark circles peek through midday. So so just for those reasons, I would not repurchase this particular product. From what I've seen on the reviews, you either really, really love it or you're not going to like it at all. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back to doing reviews. I truly hope that you enjoyed this review and that you found it helpful. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.